Hello and welcome back to the vlog. Megan Fox. She is everywhere having her hot steamy romance with Machine Gun Kelly and we are all lusting for it and here for it. This girl's living her best life. Megan Fox is the hot girl. It is hot girl summer. So it is only fitting that this week's challenge is me living like Megan Fox for a day. We're gonna do her workout, her diet. I'll give my thumbs up or thumbs down at the end and we're gonna have a little chit chat about how celebrity diets you see online are absolute lies as I show you a celebrity diet online. Good morning, beautiful. Oh, I need coffee. I do not look into if she has coffee or not. There's children staring at me. The day I don't drink coffee in a challenge is the challenge. That will be the challenge. But after the year we just had, I'm not committing to that in any form. Okay, well, there's gonna be one yolk. I swear I know how to make eggs, but every time I record it, ugh. Pretend that's not there. I think this is oatmeal. The package looks like it. I found it in the cupboard. I'm a Canadian currently living in Sweden. So, end of June. Oh, it is oatmeal. I'm fluent. I have absolutely no idea if this is quick, long. I, we're just gonna wing this in the microwave. Shoot, I just remember Megs has a really weird microwave. It's not really a microwave, it's one of these things. Ah, oh, life is so confusing. Breakfast, she has oatmeal with almonds and egg whites. Now I have oatmeal with almond butter. Sue me. I'm not gonna go buy almonds when I have almond butter. I added coconut flakes for pure aesthetics for you guys because you don't deserve ugly looking meals. I say as I present you the ugliest looking meal. I added four tomatoes to try and make it look prettier. So it's egg whites with half a yolk because apparently if you're an OG who've been here since like the Tom Brady video. Great start. I want to make sunny side eggs. Forgot I had them on. Real runny eggs here, Kelty. Every time I make eggs, on the internet, I screw up. I don't know why. I can make them. One day I'm gonna make a full video dedicated to eating eggs. <laughs> Making. Honestly, name a fitness video that doesn't have egg whites and oatmeal and some kind of nut butter. This is fitness YouTube. And do I super really love this meal? Yes. I'm just gonna be honest. I just realized I did this. There's these chocolates in the fridge and I just, just shoved four in my mouth, so. <laughs> Megan Fox trains two to three times a week, about 45 to 60 minutes. She does circuit training, spin classes, slash cycling, and Pilates. So we're gonna do one of her circuits I found online. Circuit one, alternating kneeling crunches. Kneeling push-ups. And the bane of my existence. This is traumatizing for my basketball career. This is not proper form. <laughs> circuit two, a bit more cardio. Jump rope, which I do not have, so we're just gonna Use our imagination. Air squats. Lunges. You can obviously do all this weighted if you have access to a gym or weights. Ooh, look at me going backwards. Try not to run into furniture. Box jumps, and I'm really debating if this coach is sturdy enough to do a box jump. I'm just gonna wing it for the internet. Ah. Oh, okay, look at that. Your boyfriend's couch. V ups. Ooh. And then it said alternating one-legged squats, and she's doing a full and pistol squat, good for her, because I still can't do that. I used to be able to, oh, I sound like, oh, back in my day before I blew my knee. So I'm gonna show you just some modifications. Option one, for alternating, you can do a curtsy lunge, unweighted or weighted. Option two, one-legged box squat. Another option, you can just use the wall and the couch. First attempted pistol squat in like, ugh, like just too long. Oh! Can I even get back up? <laughs> and then she does an eight minute Tabata. If you didn't know what Tabata is, it's 20 seconds of movement, 10 seconds of rest, repeated for as long as you want. Eight minutes, I'd say either four two minute circuits or two four minute circuits is the best. We're gonna do two four minute circuits and here are the exercises. Circuit one, I'm gonna do a glute bridge with shoulder tap. Circuit two, I'm gonna do a split squat with an RKC plank, which is a bit different than normal plank. And if you go on the app store, there's just hundreds of free Tabata. Oh, if only I had a playlist of music to listen to right now. AKA the Spotify workout playlist I've been making for you guys. I hope you're enjoying them.
So your regular plank is like this, RKC plank, elbows, drive in, squeeze your glutes and core. You wanna squeeze till you're shaking. Then it should be hard, not round, but squeeze. And there was a nice little at-home workout. You can do that with weights. But yeah, it's a good circuit. Let's go get some post-workout snacks. Post-workout, she has a smoothie that has protein, in-season berries, chai tea, and almond milk, which sounds great if I had a blender, which I don't. So we got this barbell pre-made milkshake, which I made a chai tea, and then I got a bowl of berries. Back in the day, I used to, poverty Kelty days, I would just pour this in, and crush it by hand, but I'd just rather not relive those moments. Deconstructed smoothie, as we call it. So, some berries. What kind of is that? Can I do so? Just go to the shower and now time for lunch. Now what her diet is, it's something called the five factor diet. So five small meals a day. I'm gonna talk about that at the end of the video. She doesn't eat anything white and nothing processed. So just whole foods, no chips, breads, pastas. Now, I found online she eats Japanese food, salmon rice for lunch. Two things on that. First of all, it was really weirdly worded. It was just like Japanese food, rice, salmon. I'm like, well, what kind of Japanese food? And then it also said rice, but then diet was no white food. So like rice. Last night we made bulgur bowls, which was salmon, bulgur, a bunch of roasted veggies. So it's pretty much the same. So I've had to let food go to waste. So I'll eat this and I'm excited. Now bulgur is underrated. It is so good. And it's got more nutrients than rice, just some fiber and a lot, but there's also nothing wrong with rice. Pesto, a little creme fresca. We'll mix this all together. Oh, this is gonna be stunning. This rice, not knowing if she actually has the rice or not, is a big issue with like celebrity diets you find online. Now, what happens a lot is when a celebrity is being interviewed for a movie, they sit down all day and it's just different people coming in asking a hundred questions and they're just spouting off things. And these media people are just waiting for this clickbait. They're just waiting for anything. Now, what happens a lot with when they ask a diet, a girl or guy trains for a specific role. They're gonna put all their time and effort into this. Like, if you told me I was gonna be the next star Marvel character, I'd eat and train in any way that would get me that role. A lot of celebrities think that way. Now, there's healthy ways to go about it and unhealthy ways to go about it. And sometimes the reality is they don't go the healthiest way. But when they're asked that, what's your diet? They're like, oh, well, you know, I didn't have carbs, da da da. And suddenly, online, all it is is like, doesn't have carbs. Like JLo, she has her 10 day no sugar diet. That's when she's trained for something specific, she'll give up sugar for 10 days. Doesn't mean she never eats sugar. The more research I did, I found out the no carb, the really restrictive, was like to get ready for a specific role. Now, I I really effed up last week. I told you Gymshark is having its second biggest sale of the year. It's kind of like Black Friday in summer, but I didn't tell you the date. <laughs> Anyways, it's June 7th, and I actually am so excited. Just, it's a lot of just staple pieces, like black leggings, the gray sports bras, the crop tops. We just need the staples in our wardrobe, and these are like 50% off. So some things like this, biker shorts, needed for summer. The flex seamless leggings I was wearing in my workout. The vital sports bra, I was matching with it. Perfect. This ombre set. And if you're not a biker short person, Perfect. we got the leggings of them. And, oh, comfortable. Boom, pivot joggers. 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, June 7th. Link down below if you want to support me or if you support your favorite Gymshark athlete. Speaking of health, hydration, Megan. Megan, Megan, you right there. Have you drank water today? Sam, you as well. We're getting closer to supper time, and she also says she does spin classes. Now, I don't have access to spin class right now, but I have a bike. So I thought, how fun, let's go on a bike to get dinner, and then we'll find out what she has for dinner. So I thought I was gonna go on a nice bike dinner, but I forgot this happened. We were biking on Saturday, and I broke one. So now I have a spoke missing on my tire. Now I'm asking you people, you bikers, is it safe to ride my bike still? Comment down below. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna walk to dinner. Shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. We got a quinoa 
chicken bowl and then with this honey mustard. I was not just gonna have quinoa and chicken, so I figured all the veggies and some sauce would still count. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hey yo, what the f What the hell? What is this? Research Kelty, do you have yesterday's security footage? I'm on it. Once she's done that. You do realize why she's doing this, right? Because she's an absolute nut job. Remember, we saw this problem back in Vancouver. Oh my God, yes. She doesn't have her usual box of <laughs> Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh's recipes are delicious. And why does my imaginary family love Hello Fresh? It's because it's delicious. Hello Fresh has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit, so you know you'll be getting something delicious. Hello Fresh can help you eat more sustainably. Hello Fresh's pre-portioned ingredients mean there's less prep for you and less wasted food. And best of all, it's flexible and fits your lifestyle. Easily change your delivery food or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. So go to HelloFresh.com and use Kelty12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com. Use code Kelty12 for 12 free meals and free shipping. And thank you HelloFresh once again for sponsoring another video and feeding my imaginary family. Oh, and for everyone who's concerned if Jim the shark survived because you had to see the last HelloFresh meal, uh, we don't know if he's alive in Vancouver or not. I will be back in June and July, uh, so we will find out in the next HelloFresh ad if Jim the shark is alive. We don't know. So after trying Megan Fox's diet and training for a day, what are my thoughts? First, on like the five factor, five small meals a day, I'm not a big fan. If it works for you, stick with it. I'm not gonna demonize it for myself. Either two big meals, maybe one or two small snacks, or three just basic meals and a snack if I feel like it. Like that's just me. The reason small meals throughout the day got so popular is the idea of thermic effect of food. Research Kelty. Ah, yes, the thermic effect of food. So back in the day, you heard small meals every two to three hours. That was kind of the trendy thing to do because it stoked the metabolism. But slightly exaggerated. So what happens is our muscles, they involve, it burns calories. There's the movement of digestion, everything, all that, it burns calories. Every time you eat, you burn a few calories from what you digest. We had the idea that if we're constantly eating, we're constantly burning calories through digestion, your metabolism is raised. Now here is where it's slightly false you increase your metabolism this much you go to the next one it increases by one so each time you eat a small meal your metabolism increases by one book you increase by three small books a day versus if you just had all your calories at once you would not just burn here it would burn here and then it would burn here burn three big books it could be spread out in three or it can happen all at once it's more about how much food you eat so however you spread out it's going to even out over day does that make any sense i don't know i'm not a teacher i just research but if that helps you and helps your energy i am for it just for me personally it doesn't work and i just want to debunk that idea you don't have to have a bunch of small meals if you don't want to and i will just never promote a restrictive diet because it's important to get nutrient dense whole food your body can only absorb so many nutrients so enjoy the fun food as well and don't restrict anything you can have anything in moderation but that being said i will touch base a bit more on that celebrity culture she might just be really restrictive for this very specific amount of time and if that's what she needs to do she said she had no cheat meals when she's going hard but then she said she has cakes and pizza when she has a cheat meal she's typically only interviewed around the time of a movie around the time of a movie she's probably really strict because she knows she's gonna be on screen in a tight little outfit I don't blame the girl <laughs> And so I think that's what we just have to be realized about celebrity culture and just like the diets we see online. Like just because you see one doesn't mean they're eating that way every day, nor is it maintainable. But I understand at the same time, I will never promote a restrictive diet. I I'm just going to be real. If you want to cast me as a Marvel episode? I'll go keto. And that's saying a lot for me. All what works for you. Starchy carbs work for some people, not other people. Some people need five meals a day. Some people need three. It's about what's sustainable long term, makes you energetic, healthy, and love yourself. Comment down below any other celebrity diets routines you want me to try these are fun to do every once in a while I do enjoy them and then if you want to see what I eat in a day that's what I did last week and most importantly have a great day go pet a dog love you guys bye